In news overseas, the United Nations chief urges warring factions in Sudan to stop the fighting immediately. In the meantime, dozens of bodies of migrants have been washed ashore in Libya after their boats sank. These and other developments across the seas in tonight's foreign news roundup by Meg Luna. A UK military aircraft took off from Cyprus as Britain began evacuating its nationals out of Sudan. This amid the fighting between Sudan's army and the paramilitary. More than 1,200 personnel were involved in the mission. Meanwhile, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres appealed to Sudan's rival generals to immediately stop the fighting and warned it must not turn into a prolonged full-scale war. <laughs> In Italy, video footage shows how Coast Guards and police rescued migrants from three shipwrecks. According to the Coast Guard, the first wreck occurred in Italian waters off the coast of Lampedusa, where three people were reported missing. Meanwhile, in Libya, at least 57 bodies of migrants were recovered after their boats sank in the Mediterranean Sea. The Libyan Coast Guard said the migrants were from Pakistan, Syria, Tunisia and Egypt. Guatemala's President Alejandro Jamate arrived in Taiwan to reaffirm diplomatic ties with the self-ruled island. The visit comes after a trip earlier this month by Taiwan's President Chai Ing-wen to Guatemala and Belize. <laughs> Meanwhile, one of the hottest and toughest endurance races in the world has kicked off in Morocco. Some 1,200 competitors are taking part in this year's Marathon Day Zabs, carrying only a backpack containing food, sleeping gear, and other materials. They will attempt to finish the six-day, 251-kilometer journey through the Sahara Desert. Meg Luna for The Nation.